Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today again we are going to troubleshoot one ticket and today ticket is PC1 is not able to access the resources of outside server. Let's say outside server means server DHCP server and WWW server. This server and this server PC1 is not able to access. See, if only PC1 is not able to access, then troubleshooting step will be different. If both PC, PC1 and PC2, both PC is not able to access the server, then troubleshooting, troubleshooting step will be different. See, first, only if PC1 is not able to access the server, that means we, we, problem is here on the PC only. Problem is here on on the PC only, or maybe the ACL is configured on router and such and switches. So we can check that later. But our first troubleshooting steps step should start from PC number one. We should start troubleshooting from here because if PC two is able to ping outside user, that means that means there is not problem of you know uh, default route let's say i have not configured default route on router number one or there is problem of r r infection or anything right Th because there is problem with this pc only so whenever make sure whenever you are troubleshooting a network or in a building let's say only one user is not able to access the internet or only one user is not able to uh, access the server that time you will start troubleshooting from pc First of all, let me verify that really PC1 is not able to access the outside user or outside server guys. So here I have PC1. Let me open the command prompt and here I am going to ping www server let's say ping 10.1.2.1. So really I am not able to ping. Now I am going to verify, see the connectivity is not there between PC1 and WWW server. Now I am going to check the connectivity from PC2 to this server. So let me take you on PC number 2. And from here, let me open the CMD. And ping. 10.1.2.1 see I am able to ping the server from PC number 2 that means problem is with PC number 1 only now we are going to verify first the IP configuration of PC 1 and uh, the connectivity between PC 2 default gateway if PC 2 is able to ping outside server that means this PC is able to ping their default gateway as well let me take you on PC number 1 and from here directly I am going to ping my default gateway first ping 10.1.1.254 see here in this topology I am running IP address like IP is in front of you here I am running IP from this network here I am running IP from this network and here I am running IP from this network on the router interface of each interface I am running 254 IP address and on like PC1 you can see dot one dot two on here on DSCP server dot one and again on this server dot one okay so let me ping my default gateway that is 10.1.1.254 so let me check am i able to ping or not See, I am able to ping my default gateway. That means if I am able to ping my default gateway, if I am able to ping my default gateway, that means there is no access control list configured on router. That means problem is only on this PC, right? Because I am able to ping my default gateway, but I am not able to ping outside user. Can I ping PC2 from PC1? So let me check that also. Here I am going to ping ping 10.1.1.2. I am able to ping PC2 as well. So definitely problem is on this computer only. So let me verify the IP configuration of this computer. So IP config, you will run command IP config to check IP configuration. And here you can see 
IP address of my PC is 10.1.1.1. It's perfect. And subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. It's perfect. And default gateway IP address is 10.1.1.154. This is wrong, right? Gateway IP address is 10.1.1.254. So let me correct it. You know, the problem is default gateway configure on PC is wrong. So let me take you on the network interface card. And here I am going to correct the default gateway. That is, it is not 154, it is 254. And let's say, okay, okay. And now let me verify the connectivity. Ping. Ten dot one dot two dot one. Now you can see PC1 is able to ping outside server. This was the small small troubleshooting. In next video we will show you the next troubleshooting of the same scenario. Thank you guys. Bye bye.